And there's the starting whistle. It's a goal off to Babar, Babar, to Leon Nascimento, back to Milton Santos. Oh. And Marlin goes into him. Water! Oh, my. No card there, so either the referee missed that one or it's going to let Parling play her up. Goodincher looking for Nascimento, but he's marked by three yellow shirts. Goodincher passes to Zito, stolen away by Scotland! Sweden's first possession, and Arena calls for the shift. Here we go, the Swedes moving quickly downfield. Let's lead home to Parling, a quick touch over to Hamlin. Hamlin back to lead home, and now Hamlin breaks down the right wing. Lead home, centers to Parling. Parling punches a swift pass. He goes back more into the area. Simons and down the middle. Hamlin with the pass. It's Simons and just wide! A brilliant attack from the Nordic Titans! Trapped by Nascimento, and now finally with an opportunity. And here he goes, spinning his way through Lindholm and Axmon. Simonson coming in oh, to catch it. Delay back the other way. Nascimento trying to do it all on his own. And oh my goodness! A huge shot from Paul. Sweden removing Pele from the equation, just as promised. They are determined to stop his one-man show. And Pele still down, holding on to that right knee he recently injured. Brazil down a man, and Sweden looking to capitalize. Kurt Cameron plays the ball upfield to lead home. Lead home, straight to London. Now all is over the area. A shot. No! No! Sweden! Lead home, less than four minutes on the clock. And this is big. Oh. Everyone expected Sweden to come out early, but no one expected it this early. Confidence are a clear weak point ever since 1950, and it's hard not to think of that tragic loss now. The fans remembering Coach Rayner's prediction that an early score would seal the victory. The King, the Queen, George Rayner, and Team Sweden, they all want the Jules Rimet trophy to stay on friendly shores, and stay it will from the looks of things, as the victory celebrations begin here in the Sunda Stadium.